Good day. Welcome to another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. Today I have for you Preppy by Russ Wetmore uh, and published by Adventure International. Oh, a Scott Adams Inc. company. Interesting. I guess I, I don't know if I had picked up on that before. Scott Adams was a uh, a programmer and apparently uh, an entrepreneur as well. Um, I remember playing this game as a teenager. Let's, uh, I believe it's basically along the same lines as, unless I'm thinking of a different game, let's find out. The only option really here is one player or two player. And uh, start the game. Music that plays constantly. Oh, no, sorry, this is the Frogger one. There is a second preppy, which I think, if I'm remembering right, is um, along the same lines as Crush Roller, where you're basically painting a, a track. Now, I don't recall off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, don't don't jump in the don't jump in the pond. Apparently they're very, very deep ponds. I probably should have given this a go. We've got lawnmowers, people pushing manual lawnmowers, we've got canoes. So it seems like a golf ball. Ah, bring the bring the golf ball back. There we go. There we go. Refreshing my memory. <laughs> okay. So I think the music was a feature of these games in that uh, reasonably good quality tune playing in the, the whole time. Uh, I think you can only bring one golf ball back, one carry one golf ball at a time, which seems a little counterintuitive. <laughs> this guy's got small hands or small pockets, or both I guess. Oh, don't jump into the jump into the uh, very bow or very stern of a canoe, presumably, because then you go in the river and you die instantly. I think maybe I'll uh, experiment with carrying more than one golf ball. I guess the preppy doesn't have any uh, pockets. Oh, that was maybe close. He takes a long time to wind up for a jump. Can we pick up a second golf ball? Yes or no? No, we cannot. No pockets, no hands. One hand. He's the one-handed preppy, I guess. Without pockets. <laughs> no pockets, no. No fanny pack, no satchel, no nothing. This is the one-handed, very small-handed, can only hold one golf ball at a time preppy. Preppy was a semi, well, I know it was a derogatory term, but it was a term that was probably generally not used very flatteringly for people that, oh gosh, I don't even remember, dressed in a certain way, stylishly, maybe associated with uh, higher incomes perhaps, golf clubs, uh, you know what I mean, like, uh, yeah, golf, golf clubs where you have memberships and things like that. Country clubs, maybe, is a better way to put that. <laughs> Lots of variety here with the logs in the river now, and we've got uh, lawn tractors and uh, lots of empty canoes going by. So things are definitely speeding up here in Preppy Land. I should probably uh, get run over by a lawnmower just to see what it looks like. I don't know if there's any animations, it seems like you just uh, basically turn into a, uh, you'd more or less disappear with just a small, oh your time doesn't refill at all, interesting, oh but I'm moving faster, was I moving this fast before, I don't think I was, do you jump faster now as well, yes you do, ah, well, that's good because uh, 
to be almost impossible to get onto on and off some of these faster things without moving a little quicker. Although it throws your experience of the earlier levels off a bit for sure because you're moving so sluggishly, jumping so sluggishly as well. <clears throat> Don't seem to get extra men unless it's a points threshold. Ooh, tractor tractors. Now this is uh oh crocodile tail is a no-go zone apparently. The end, I think. Yes. Game over, player one, high score. 63.50. Now I said this was when I played a fair bit. I don't think actually that I did. This is, uh, I was thinking I think of Preppy 2 probably. Uh, let's see here. Is there any other? It'd be nice if you could choose a higher level to start on. Save some tedium. Um, alright, let's have another go here. I'll maybe just experiment a little bit with uh, what it looks like to die. Nice variety in the lawnmowers there. The, the individuals. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Those are some heavy, powerful uh, <laughs> lawnmowers. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> okay. See, I, I did die by pond and I did die by canoe and there wasn't anything too too amusing about that. Just sort of a disappear into with a, with a bit of a splash, maybe. <laughs> Alright, some nice touches. Gameplay's not very sophisticated, uh, but there's some nice, nice elements to the game. Nice touches. <laughs> Let's see about... I don't know. It's actually, although it's all right, probably, probably would appeal more to a younger audience. I think, ultimately, of course, the preppy message would be lost on the youngers. Can you walk off a canoe? Oh, you can walk right off a canoe. Look at that. Nothing stopping you. Let's see here. Is there anything else I can explore to creatively lose a lose a preppy? The preppy has a very squat squat body and head. Maybe it's meant to be sort of a isometric top-down, semi-top-down view, perhaps. But more likely it's just meant to fit the sprite into a, a box area, boxy area.
Also, some of the elements are moving much faster. These middle logs, for example. Yeah, this one's tricky. You're actually quite likely to be cutting it close on the time. I don't want to die now because I want to see what happens when I kill myself by alligator. Ooh, just in the nick of time. I assume you die when the timer runs out. <clears throat> All right, you alligators, bring it on. Pick up a golf ball, and then I'm gonna leap onto an alligator back. Oh, you can't leap on them at all? What are you supposed to, what are you supposed to do? That's weird. Huh. Huh. I was pretty sure I landed in the middle of his back there. Maybe you have to land on their heads? That seems odd can bite ya. Alright, well there you go. That's preppy. Not not bad, not, not too deep, but it's got some humor to it and uh, certainly playable. And I think that is all I have to say about that. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.